A D S R Pro Hello, welcome back to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Today, I'm just going to do a quick overview of some of Cubase 9's new features. Uh, Cubase 9 is due for release today, and currently the Steinberg website is down. Um, I'm presuming they're getting ready for the launch. So I'm just going to go over some of the features that I found on the net. Personally, so far, the updates look amazing. There's a lot of useful features in there that have got me quite excited and they've definitely been listening to the end user i would have said so far so i'm just going to give you a bit of spiel uh what steinberg have put so cubase 9 boasts some of today's most advanced and in-demand audio tools in a massively comprehensive package steinberg assembled a dream team of its finest virtual instruments and designer audio effects to inspire in its users greater performances and groundbreaking mixes an unlimited track count for Cubase 9, flexible routing and rendering, which it already had, and an award-winning audio engine, which it already had, will allow even veteran users to discover new and satisfying ways to create audio craft, or craft audio, sorry. It's no mystery why Cubase is preferred by professionals, artists across the globe. So with regards to the features, the first thing that strikes me is the new lower zone. Now, the newer uh, lower zone is really, really handy because it allows access to the mix console, and other editors like the MIDI editor, audio editor, uh, basically within the project window. So you can mix and edit without opening up loads of different windows. And for me, that's really, really essential. And I think what's nice about it as well is they have incorporated some different keys where you can hide the lower zone and you can also hide the VST instrument uh, rack on the right side and the inspector window. So really, really nice to be able to just click and, and open up the different sections that you're going to be using. Very, very handy. I like the look of that. One of the main things that I really like the look of right now is the new sampler track and kaleidoscope. Uh, Cubase does not have a dedicated sampler until now. It'll be interesting to see how this works out. Obviously, Groove Agent is a really, really good sampler. I say they don't have one. Halion, again, is a really, really good sampler as well. But sometimes you just want something quick and easy where you can just put a piece of audio in, map it across your keyboard, and manipulate it in a, a new way. So really, really looking forward to that. Um, apparently, it's great for creating loops, one shots, uh, pitch shifting vocals, filtering beats directly within the editor, create your own remixes and mashups. So be interesting to see how that works. Uh, another nice couple of features is the frequency, which is a eight band EQ. Now, previously I would use something like FabFilter or Waves Q10. This looks nice. There's a lovely spectrum display on there with the piano uh, keyboard window as well. There's band selectable linear phase EQ, reduces phase distortion. And yeah, it looks really, really nice. Uh, having eight bands, I like to have at least two bands for low pass and high pass, and then a good few bands to be able to manipulate the sound into something that you want. They've also done um, overhaul, should I say, the new maximizer. Um, I use a maximizer in, in all my tracks, so it'll be interesting to uh, see how this compares to others. What I really like is the fact that they're now incorporating uh, really good quality plugins. Previously, I would have always used third-party plugins for certain tasks, but I think Steinberg are now actually focusing more on good quality plugins whereby you don't need to use external uh, or as many external plugins as possible. Obviously, it's each to their own. Uh, some third-party stuff sounds amazing, and I probably would never stop using that. But it's nice to see Steinberg uh, moving forward and getting some real high-end quality plugins in there as well. Uh, what else have we got? It looks like they have manipulated some of the effects, um, not just the maximizer. It looks like there's a, a few other little items in there as well, which will be interesting to see what they are. Um, but one of the main things for me is um, upgrades to VST Connect and VST Performer. Um, it'll be interesting to see uh, how good that is because previously um, I've had issues uh, with other end users, you know, when we're trying to use VST Connect and one guy plays a guitar somewhere in the country and we record it back here. Um, and it worked, don't get me wrong, but I just felt that it was just you needed to spend quite a bit of time just to get it to function how it was supposed to. Now I'm hoping, you know, I expect to set it up because everybody does have different audio interfaces and so on, but 
I didn't expect it to be as challenging as it was. So fingers crossed that's now been uh, revamped and works a lot better. So just some of the features I'll go through uh, based on the internet. Um, let's have a look. Capable of recording audio in future-proof 32-bit, 192 kilohertz quality. Proper high-end stuff, ideal. Uh, detects tempos for beat quantization. Lower zone, we've discussed, lets you mix and edit from the project window. Sampler track, sample editor, creates loops and one-shots from any piece of audio. Frequency in Steinberg is the smoothest, most surgical EQ plug-in to date. 10 marker tracks, uh, organize each instrument section, enhances and cues. Overhaul maximizer, plugin sentinel, uh, protects your system against invalid plugins. Now that's really handy because a lot of users do have issues with regards to plugins. Me, because I've been using it years, I've got a pretty good understanding and if anything's rogue within my system, it's gone. But for the basic user, I'm sure plugin sentinel will be a godsend. Uh, chord assistant suggests chords for your verses, choruses and bridges. That's nice. Groove agent SE4 builds beats with lifelike drums. Well, that's nothing new. VST Transit, uh, VST Connect SE4. That's the upgraded version. Locates and enables users to collaborate on projects remotely. Integrates seamlessly with all Steinberg and most Yamaha hardware. And unlimited track count in Cubase Pro 9. Supports up to 256 physical ins and outs and 8 virtual instruments and 64 VSTi slots to build textures inside the box and 74 audio effects plugins to mold and shape your sounds. So it sounds and looks so far to me to be a valid update. There's a few nice features in there as a music producer that are exciting for me and I'm hoping that they live up to uh, the hype. So. That's it for now. Obviously, I'm going to create some more videos on the individual uh, effects and everything as they do come out. So, until next time, take care. Bye-bye. A. D. S. R. Pro.